Sidekick is a background processing framework for Ruby. It's very simple to use and extremely fast. It consists of three parts, the Sidekick client API, the Sidekick server, and a Redis server. In today's episode, we're going to start a new Ruby project, integrate Sidekick, and write our first worker. Let's get started. Sidekick has excellent Rails support, but that's so easy to get going that I thought it'd be more worthwhile to demonstrate the basics on a plain old Ruby project. We'll make a new project. We'll pull in the Sidekick gem. And we'll install it using Bundler. So now we'll define a quick Ruby script that configures Sidekick and defines a worker. We require Sidekick, obviously. We'll configure the Sidekick client to connect to Redis using a custom database. This way we can run multiple apps on the same Redis without them stepping on each other. And we'll configure the server as well. Next, we'll make a new worker class. And we'll include Sidekick Worker. Then we'll define a perform method. And this will take a single argument in complexity. And this is the entirety of the Sidekick Worker API. You just define this method and you're good to go. So we'll make a case statement on complexity. And then if somebody passes super hard, We'll sleep for 20 seconds. Uh, we're just doing this to simulate different amounts of work. If it's hard, we'll sleep slightly less. And anything else we'll consider a small amount of work. Okay, so there's the basic sidekick setup. Let's go ahead and run it. I've already got Redis running locally. If you don't, you'd want to do that now. First, we start the Sidekick Worker process. So we'll just require worker.rb in our Sidekick. Actually, I need to use dot slash. Sorry about that. And then I'll leave that running and I'll split my screen. Okay, so I've got the worker running over here. And now I can open up a IRB session. And I'll require the worker. And I can create a job, and we can see them worked by the worker process. So I'm going to call perform async easy. And you can see the worker started an easy job, and it was finished in a second. And we can do some hard jobs. And I'll go ahead and queue a few up. You can see they'll finish at roughly the same time, because we've got multiple threads running through them. So even though they each take 10 seconds, uh, it's, it's been done in parallel. There we go. And then, you know, we can do some more easy ones. So you can see that Sidekick is capable of running multiple bits of Ruby code concurrently so that hard work doesn't block easy work. You can also schedule work in Sidekick. For instance, you might want to send an email out 30 minutes after someone signed up for your service if they hadn't finished registering. Sidekick makes it very easy to schedule work. So let's perform an easy task in a few seconds. So we're going to perform in five seconds the easy task. And then over here, you can just watch. It'll wait five seconds, and then it'll execute. There we go. Anyway, in today's episode, we saw the basics of using Sidekick from a plain old Ruby project. I hope you enjoyed it. See you soon.